We built our Evergreen Instance Analyzer so that customers can optimize their use of the ServiceNow platform and be informed about opportunities to mature their processes and practices. To date, the following use cases have been built into the application. A best practice analysis focused on ServiceNow's published technical best practices to ensure code and configurations added are in alignment. Adhering to these practices will improve your technical debt, improve your security posture, and ensure smooth upgrades. If you have yet to migrate to the service portal, we have a service portal readiness assessment use case that will highlight the code components that need to be addressed to align to the service portal architecture. We also have a use case focused on assessing your ITIL maturity and providing a CMMI assessment score, as well as prioritize guidance on which aspects of the processes need attention. Lastly, we built a use case to assess opportunities to leverage new features and, and functions introduced with the London release. Our plan is to continue to evolve and add to these use cases so that our customers can optimize their investment in the platform and within their IT operations. Our review workspace has a simplified way to launch and start a new review. When starting a new service portal readiness review, I'm presented options to evaluate all applicable records or to be more targeted at analyzing a specific application, an update set, or a table of records based off of a query. There is also accommodation for running reviews on remote ServiceNow instances. For example, you may wish to analyze your production ServiceNow instance from one of your sub-prod environments. To run the review, simply click the Run Review button. The estimated duration of the run is also communicated to me to set expectations on how long this activity will likely take. The review will summarize findings by rule, as well as a breakdown by developer, as well as impact area. A PDF report is also generated and can be useful for sharing the findings with individuals who cannot access the workspace directly. For many review, a scheduled reoccurrence can be configured so that analysis can be performed regularly and provide trends in findings. The review workspace does not only provide insights into the findings, but also provides a working environment to remediate these findings and track progress. There are several fil filters I can use to isolate the findings to be worked. I can also use labels to define tags to assign to the items and then filter off of these labels. Depending on the rule, I can have scripted remediation actions that I can call to automate the fix to various code components, such as removing the debug lines from a particular script. As I fix the code and mark a finding as remediated, the application will retest that code to ensure the finding has indeed been corrected, and if not, it will denote it as a failed validation. Skipping a finding is also an allowable action. This may be performed because the effort to perform the remediation outweighs the benefits, or the rule may be reporting a false negative. When a finding is skipped, it will be ignored on future scans if that source record has not been modified after the skip action. ITIL maturity assessments work a little differently and they send out assessments for each of the process areas. The assessment feedback along with rules and computed metrics are blended together to generate findings as well as provide a CMMI-based assessment score. Any process area that are graded low will also highlight the business impact as of being below that optimal level. Included in the ITIL assessment are a variety of metrics used to grade maturity achievement beyond the subjective questionnaires. So far I've shown that our application can be used to perform a point-in-time review but it can also be used through your regular SDLC lifecycle processes to ensure new code configurations align with these rules. As I'm coding an object, the application will indicate if there's any alerts in the code that are present. As I resolve the errors, on the on-the-fly detection will remove that alert, and any of my existing findings will also highlight as being considered remediated, and from here I can close them out so to close out those findings. When working with update sets, I can also use the run code review action to ensure my update set does not contain any rule violations before being consumed into another ServiceNow environment. Remediating or skipping all the findings from the update set review will mark the update set as complete so that it can be loaded into our test, QA, or production environments. This concludes what I wanted to cover today as an overview of our Evergreen Instance Analyzer application. I hope you find this tool useful and we welcome your feedback. Thank you.